What's up Decker Dolphins? It's Coach Terry coming to you with another video for the week. This week we're going to be doing a little something different. Today we're going to be talking about making healthy eating choices while staying home during the coronavirus. First, we're going to talk about what are healthy foods. Healthy foods are anything that contains nutrients. Nutrients, that's a vocabulary word. Nutrients helps us grow big and strong. They are vitamins, minerals, proteins, and carbohydrates. Healthy foods do not have a lot of sugar in them, and they also are not high in unhealthy fat content. Healthy foods are also mainly come from the earth. They are grown in the ground or planted in the trees. Lastly, healthy foods are not what we consider junk food or come from fast food restaurants like McDonald's, Taco Bell, Burger King, just to name a few. Now we are talking about what are unhealthy foods. When you see un in front of a word, that means not. So the word unhealthy means not healthy. Unhealthy foods are foods that have a lot of sugar and high content fats in them. Unhealthy foods also have little to no nutrients in them. Remember, nutrients help us grow big and strong, so we need all the nutrients that we can get. Another type of unhealthy foods are foods that make us feel bad, tired, sick, or cranky. Those aren't good to eat as well. And lastly, unhealthy foods are foods that don't come from the earth. Remember, if it doesn't come from Mother Nature, it's not very good for you. This is an example of a healthy eating plate. Every day when you sit down to eat, whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, you should have at least a little bit of fruit, grains, veggies, protein, and a little dairy. These are just some examples of the different type of food groups that make us healthy. Let's start off with fruits. Fruits, they can either be apples, oranges, grapes, mangoes, bananas, or strawberries. Next, we have the grains. Grains are what we consider our carbohydrates or our starches. They are rice, bread, pasta, and potatoes. Next, we have our protein. Protein is the main item on the plate. Your protein is either beans, chicken, beef, pork, turkey, shrimp, fish, or some type of vegetarian product if you're a vegetarian. Next, we have our veggies. The veggies are the next important thing on the plate. Some examples of different type of vegetables are corn, squash, broccoli, green beans, asparagus, spinach, cabbage, lettuce, and Brussels sprouts. And lastly, you have a little bit of the dairy section. The dairy can be considered your milk, yogurt, cheese, or eggs. Okay guys, let's play a little game. Okay, these are some different foods that I took from out of my house and we're gonna see whether they are considered unhealthy or healthy. Let's try it. Okay, here's a pint of Mexican vanilla ice cream. Do you think it goes on the healthy food item or the unhealthy? Unhealthy, good job. Next. We have a package of broccoli. Remember, broccoli is a type of vegetable. I'll give you a couple seconds to think about it. Unhealthy or healthy? Healthy, good job. Next, we have a can of soda. Remember, healthy foods don't have a lot of sugar in them. Let's check the sugar in this can. Ooh, 46, that's pretty high. Hmm, what y'all think? Unhealthy, yep, don't drink a lot of soda. Next, we have whole milk. Hmm, what does Coach Terry tell you to drink every morning during breakfast? 
That's right. Drink your milk. Makes your bones strong. Milk is healthy for you guys. Next, we have orange juice. Orange juice comes from oranges, so naturally it's a fruit. What do you think, guys? Healthy. Good job. All right, next we have, ooh, guacamole. Okay, guacamole is made with avocados. Avocados are really good for you because they're high in protein and high in the good fat. You want some good fats, but you don't want the bad fats. What do you think? Guacamole is healthy. Next, we have Girl Scout cookies. Ooh, let's see. Remember, Girl Scout cookies have a lot of sugar in them. I love them, but oh, they're so unhealthy for you. Next, we have up oh, the favorite hot Cheetos. All right, guys, this is pretty easy. Which one do y'all think? That's right, unhealthy. Don't eat a lot of these. Don't eat them. Next, we have ooh some string cheese. Okay, remember cheese is in the dairy section of the plate. Okay, it's good to have a little bit of dairy in your diet every day. Cheese is healthy. Next, we have a can of sparkling water. Okay, you might not have seen this in the store, but this is a great alternative to drinking soda. It's made with mainly water and it has natural flavors with just a little bit of sugar just for flavor. Compare this to a soda and this is healthy. Next, we have good old fashioned water. Water, it has nothing in it. It's healthy for you. Drink your water, guys. Drink your water. Next, we have, ooh, vanilla yogurt. Okay, remember, yogurt was part of the what section? The dairy section. Dairy is super important. Remember, dairy is um, helps make our bones big and strong. Healthy. Next, popcorn. Okay, this can be a tricky one. Popcorn is good because it has high nutrients such as fiber in it, but when it comes with all that salt and butter for the good flavoring, it become unhealthy. So we'll put this in the middle. It, become, it can be a healthy snack and a unhealthy snack. Next. Oreos. All right, guys. Oreo cookies. What y'all think? This should be an easy one. Oh, psych. Unhealthy. All right. Let's see what else we got. All right. We got a can of fruit punch. All right. Fruit punch is real good. It could be better than a soda. Let's see what the sugar content has in it. Um, Sugar, 10, 10 grams. It's not bad. Um, we'll put this in the middle too. Like I said, it's a great alternative to sugary drinks like soda and energy drinks, but it's not as good as water and other um, uncarbonated drinks. So we'll put this one in the middle. That's all right. Next we have pecans. Okay, pecans are a great snack. They're a great uh, choice to eat instead of chips like Takis or Hot Cheetos. Pecans and nuts have lots of nutrients in them, and they're also a good source of protein. Okay, pecans and nuts are healthy. All right, got gummy worms. Oh my God, guys, I could eat this all day. Unfortunately, eating candy is unhealthy. All right, guys, we got a couple more. Hang in there with me. All right, small whole wheat wheat bread. Okay, doesn't have any bleach flour, no high fructose corn syrup. Was it another fancy name for sugar? Whole wheat, healthy. Okay, we have an apple. Okay, remember apples were part of the fruit section. Apples are healthy.
We got an orange. This should be an easy one, too. Oranges are part of the fruit section. What do you think? Healthy. All right, guys, two more. Ooh, we have a nice zucchini. This is a vegetable. You might um, eat, um, I'm pretty sure you guys have eaten this before in the cafeteria. You might not know what it was, but you might have eaten it. Zucchini is another great vegetable that has a lot of nutrients in it. Zucchinis, healthy. Last one, the lemon. Lemon is a great um, thing to add in your water. Um, it helps you to remove um, all the negative toxins in your body. So if you don't like drinking water, um, I suggest taking a lemon, slicing it up, adding it to your water, and it makes it better to drink. I like adding a little lemon to my water. Lemons are healthy. All right, guys. That was the end of the lesson for today. I hope you guys make safe and healthy choices while staying at home during the coronavirus. I'll see you next week.